gliders, like this model version, have three main parts, wings, fuselage, and tail. Workers build each part of the glider in two pieces, using resin and steel molds. They begin with the fuselage mold. They lay down strips of Kevlar, a strong heat-resistant material. Then they apply epoxy resin to the Kevlar fiber to reinforce it. They leave the epoxy to dry, and the next day apply strips of carbon fiber to reinforce the fuselage. The glider's tail boom gets the same treatment, except where the antenna will go, as radio signals don't penetrate the carbon fiber very well. Workers apply a thin coat of white gel paint to the 30-foot wing mold. Gliders are always white, so they don't absorb the sun's rays and overheat. They roll a sheet of carbon fiber over the painted mold. Then, the entire assembly team skillfully applies an even coat of resin. The two wing parts are glued together using the same epoxy resin that bonds and seals the carbon fibers. Mixing in some cotton flakes helps thicken the resin, which they apply to the main spar, the wing's backbone, then to the front, back, and center portions. Using a crane, Workers carefully fit the two wing molds together. They tightly clamp the two molds together and leave them to harden overnight. The next day, there's a loud pop when workers separate the two molds. Using a diamond tip cutter, they cut the wing in two for transport, revealing its inner structure. They mount the glider's fuselage on a rotating stand so they can easily access the entire surface. They sand it and then polish it to a mirror finish. As workers assemble the glider, they inspect every system. They check the engine command that lowers the glider's launch propeller and retracts it into the fuselage. The landing gear must lower and retract smoothly out of the glider's undercarriage. Now they reassemble the wings. They check the air brake located in the wing. And finally, they install the canopy. The glider is complete.